Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a deal about the twirl tool. And while it was loading, I started thinking, if you ever needed to twirl something that was close to another object, like here, we're gonna twirl more than what we want. We just want that bar twirled. Well, to do that, I would take the shape tool and grab those two nodes and just move it out of the way, two clicks. Then take your twirl tool and twirl that. And you can see now we're only going to affect the bar and grab your shape tool again and move it back those two click. Well, move it back one click because uh, we you, it's going to be longer than it was. That way you have not messed up the integrity. And I just made a video on how to do this equally. And this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to go control D and make a duplicate. And then we're going to mirror, but you see what happens. And then you could take this node. It would be better to take this node and put it right there. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And then use your smart fill tool. And you've made a equal twirl on both sides. So it's a little bit different than what we did before. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.